Hello there students at Webster Groves Elementary Computer School. Even though we are no longer alive, we insist on your full attention, we must talk to you about something serious. It's about the Webster Groves Acceptable Use Policy, or HEOP. Students, all of you had an acceptable use policy in your registration paperwork. Miss Olson, please hold up this most important piece of paper. The Webster Groves Acceptable Use Policy is not the same as the United States Constitution or the Emancipation Proclamation, but it is quite important nonetheless. Now we must tell you why this Acceptable Use Policy, or HEUP, is so important. An Acceptable Use Policy is a contract. It's something that school districts, organizations, businesses, governments and other groups require their computer users to sign. It says that they promise to remember a few important things when they use the computers inside the buildings. All Webster District employees including nurses, office workers, custodians, teachers and principals must sign the acceptable use policy. Likewise, all Webster School District students must have an acceptable use policy on file. Even though your parent or guardian may have signed your acceptable use policy on your behalf, which means they may have signed it for you. It is important for you to know what it means. The students in this room, who are sitting before us today, must take responsibility for their own technology use. What exactly is technology again? It feel as though I have been asleep for a long, long time. No, Abraham. We have both been deceased for a long, long time. But in the time, things have changed quite a bit. For real, man? Yes. At home, students use computers, tablets, iPhones, Nooks, iPads, Kindles, cell phones, gaming systems, handheld video games and all sorts of devices for communicating. Does that mean no more letters or telegraph? Today, all of these kids call it snail mail, Abraham. They just don't understand the art of letter writing. But that's another conversation. And the telegraph. Well, I'm not going to begin to explain that one to them. So what you're saying, George, is that things have changed. And now there are important rules because things have changed. That's correct, Abraham. Things have changed quite a bit. When they are at home, students and their parents need to come up with ways that the kids can stay safe online and when using cell phones and other types of technology. However, when using technology at school, that's when the acceptable use policy comes into play. Now I understand. Because of all of these computers at school, students must use them safely. So the parents and students sign the acceptable use policy. It is a contract of computer rules that Webster kids must follow at school. That's right. Here are a few things to remember. Students must never, ever share their login with any other student. Ever. That means they should not give out their lunch pin number at all for any reason, except to check out a library book, to type it into the computer, or to use it to purchase lunch. Students should never ever, never ever, never ever share a password with someone else. Including their friends. Also, students should never, ever change the settings on a computer without a teacher's permission. That means that you will receive a consequence if you change the icons, or the size of text on the desktop. You should not rearrange it or put any pictures of Elmo, Lady Gaga or Bart Simpson on your desktop. Just to name a few. That is right. Students, if you do see that someone has changed something, let a teacher know immediately. Also, that means you should never, ever download anything on the computer. That includes accepting updates unless a teacher has said that it is okay. Webster students are not allowed to use any inappropriate language online at school. Students shouldn't use bad language at home either. But that's another matter. However, students should know that anyone they go to school with should never, ever be cyberbullied. If a Webster student bullies another Webster student online, there can be serious consequences for both the student and the parent. Bullying and online threats are dealt with at school, even if they were done at home on a student's own computer or cell phone. 
because both students go to the same school, action can be taken by the police and school administrators. And that's no joke, you must also understand that when you are on the computers at school, you must only stay on the websites that a teacher has told you to go to or that are linked to your teacher's website. You may not goggle anything or go out on the internet alone without the permission of the teacher who is in the room. If you are in class and your teacher tells you to go to Google to find something, that is fine. But you are not allowed to go on the internet wherever you like. You must have permission first. Also, students must be careful of the school district property. They should carry minis or laptops with two hands. Even if they are very, very angry at a computer, they should never throw a mouse or throw the computer through a window. Seriously, though, if computers are damaged in any way, your parents will have to pay for them. Do not do any damage to computers. It's not worth it. Another important thing students must remember is that they must obey all copyright laws and give credit if they use pictures, words or videos belonging to someone else in a project. They also should reword information when possible. And one more thing, Abraham. At school, students should not be using or checking email or using or checking cell phones. If a phone or email needs to be used, it should be under the direction of a teacher only and only if there are special circumstances. Just like when they're at home, they should never give out information such as their home addresses or phone numbers on the internet, correct? That's right. Luckily, there is something called cyber policing software on all of the web's to district computers. Many unsafe websites are automatically blocked by filters the school district has put in place. However, should students come upon something inappropriate, they should let a teacher know. And if a website or link asks for an address or phone number, they should never provide it. Wow, that was an interesting talk, George. But aren't you supposed to be chopping down some cherry trees or something? No, I did that when I was a boy. Now that I have been brought back from the dead, I want to go check out the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. It sounds really cool. And I will check out the Lincoln Memorial behind us. I hear that the Washington Memorial is not doing too well these days. I guess my monument, not yours, was built for the ages. I think perhaps too much honesty is a not good, Abraham. Let's agree to disagree but to continue to be the best of friends. Yes. The best of friends. Let's dance now, shall we? Yes. Let's dance. <laughs>